What is up, you guys? It's Boldy98, and we have a bunch of news confirming Modern Warfare 3 is basically just remastered Modern Warfare 2. Let's hop straight into the video. So, yes, this will be the closest we probably ever get to a Modern Warfare 2. 2009 remastered version and it's coming in the terms of a new game where it will be played on the CDL and the main reason why is because look at this every launch map in Modern Warfare 3 is a remastered map from the original Modern Warfare 2 in 2009 me terminal afghan uh well, Skidro, uh, Outlast, all those maps, I don't even know if Outlast is a map, but all those maps that were in Modern Warfare 2 2009 are coming to Modern Warfare 3. So what I think this is, is our closest thing to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, but instead of being like the COD 4 Remastered, we're going to have updated movement, updated guns, um, and instead of it being an exact reskin, just better graphics, we're going to now have it as our main game and it's going to be updated movement so this is super cool to see i can't wait to you know figure out everything going on with it but another thing they're adding back they're adding quite a few things back from this modern warfare 2 in 2009 number one thing being the maps and then number two being the map voting yes yeah, so now you can reportedly uh in multiplayer on modern warfare 3 map voting is coming back basically you could you would get two maps if you never did it um you get two maps so terminal rust then you vote which map you want or there in the rep bottom there was a vote to skip so if you don't like either map you could just vote to skip that was it but it will add a longer wait time in lobbies probably now which is a downside but probably not a terrible downside next thing mini map yes the classic red dot mini map will be coming to modern warfare 3 i'm sure you guys have heard this over and over again that we are getting the classic red dot mini map um basically uh we're just getting basic you know where they shoot we see them it's simple been in call of duty since day one we took it out I, for who knows why i think it was a war zone thing they decided to try to multiplayer does not work we do not like it however if the game was a complete reskin we'd probably hate it too so they have to try new things and i understand that now let's talk about something that we might not know we got red dots on mini maps talked about master remastered maps there map voting back 150 hp is also coming back i think black ops three or four had this um basically we're going to be adding 50 hp to our players characters whatever you call them in the game which means it's going to be a longer uh longer ttk which is going to help out in a lot more gunfights also this is going to be the most we get to modern warfare 2 2009 until they actually bring out a remaster i mean we got the weapons coming back we got old maps coming back we got classic mini maps and we could probably have so much more we already know we're going to be having the uh you know makarov and missions are surrounding that area price ghost those characters that were big in modern warfare 2's 2009 story are coming back for modern warfare 3 so this only means that this is probably the closest we get until we actually get a modern warfare 2 remastered However, with this comes some downsides of Modern Warfare 3. There are some downsides to DMZ. DMZ will be backseated uh, next year, basically meaning that they're not going to focus on it. And it seems like they'll be focusing more on Warzone. No figure. That seems to be their priority every time a new game comes out right now is Warzone. And then you also have Zombies. So Zombies is coming to Modern Warfare 3, or leak to come. I don't want to give it away completely, but... Is pretty confirmed that we will be getting zombies in Modern Warfare 3, and they're going to spend a lot of time making sure that that zombie mode is really well taken care of. So I understand back seeing DMZ, which wasn't too much of a popular map. Sorry again to offend anyone. It just seems like this is a smart move on the part of, you know, Sledgehammer and Activision themselves to spend more time into a game mode like zombies that will bring people back. Also, everyone, let's take a deep breath, myself included. We have the real event Thursday and we haven't been getting a lot of leaks like i said these are i am trying my hardest to find leaks and i will keep trying my hardest because i'm going to try to bring my daily videos every day um but right now with the re reveal event and everything going on it's kind of slow so just you know we just got to stay patient as time comes we will obviously get more and more leaks and i will be the first to bring them to you if i can um, but thank you so much for all the support. Uh, we are at 612 subscribers, which is insane. You know, our goal is a 1,000 by the end of the year. So thank you. If you don't mind sharing this video, subscribing, and liking, let me know down in the comments if there is anything that you didn't like or I could possibly make better for the viewer experience. And, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.